Hey everyone, I'm so sorry about the crappy yellow light out here, but, um, yeah, I'm um, Mr. Upad and my mom are sleeping, so the garage is like my filming spot a lot, and I know it's horrible out here, like the lighting, but, um, I just watched Michelle's, um, Together We Are video, and it really moved my heart. Um, one second, I'm just gonna make sure it's recording. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm paranoid now because I've like done long videos and realized it wasn't even recording, so I wanted to check. But yeah, um, this is such a critical issue. Michelle was talking about how you really need a support team and to rely on them when you're struggling. And this is such, oh my goodness, it's such a critical issue, and I'm so glad she talked about this. Um, yeah, if you can build a network of friends, of kindred sufferers, anyone that you can reach out to in your time of need, if you know there's like a unified team of people who care and are there for you, chances are, no matter what hour, no matter what day, somebody will be there to be able to offer you a couple words of comfort or just listen and accept and receive and be there with you. Because like Michelle was saying, we often feel so alone like we're the only one and no one else has ever felt like this before and you know we're we're fighting a battle on our own and that's not true so definitely take advantage of offers of support and you can learn pretty quickly like who's reliable and who isn't like some friends some people this is like an, a thing I wanted to share about some people have the best of intentions, but don't have the capacity to really be with you and just listen. Like, I know when I'm offering support a lot that I always feel so inadequate because I don't have answers. Like, I can't fix it. And I get that from my father. He's very much like a fix-it person, and actually that has caused us major estrangement because he's never been able to come to terms with my illness and that's a whole other story but um, as far as accepting support my issue has always been like my eating disorder has always been a way not to need you know like um, I don't want to rely on anybody because what happens if I depend on them and they leave me and then I get hurt. But I was just writing back to Michelle and I thought, you know what, I should do a video because I have more to say about that. Um, I'm just going to check again. Sorry, I I have a lot of um, videos on this card, this media card, so I just want to make sure it's still room. But yeah, the one point I wanted to say about that is like, if you are afraid of admitting need or reaching out because what if somebody doesn't respond well and you get hurt think about this if you isolate yourself and don't reach out that hurt is a thousand times worse and it might not feel like it but this is life and there is some element of risk in human connection more often than not though if you reach out and you reach out to people who have offered to be there for you and be supportive, you will garner support and security in that support. And having a team, like Michelle was talking about, is great because maybe you have one friend and that friend has a bad day or is busy or isn't able to be as emotionally available for you that day. Then there's other people in your network, in your circle of connections that can help support you. So if you're afraid to reach out, remember that if you're afraid of being hurt, you're already hurting so much. What do you have to lose, really? You have everything to gain. And I strongly encourage people to venture, like, to trust a little bit, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be much. Like, if somebody genuinely has said, like, I really want to be there for you and support you, I would love it if you could come to me, you know, try it, seriously, you have nothing to lose and you have everything to gain from that.
And a couple words of compassion are so priceless when you're hurting. There is nothing like somebody saying, I understand and I'm here. Or just, I don't understand, but I'm here to listen to you and offer love and support and compassion and companionship. So yeah, great topic. I just wanted to add some thoughts to that. Michelle, I know you've been really struggling and I hope you're doing better, sweetheart. Just remember, we're all here for you and championing you along the journey. Much love to you and everyone. Be well, precious ones. Bye.